after watching Scandal and West Wing and shit, you don't know what's going on. So there could be like a secret, secret secret service that we don't know about. I did really well in school. I'm a good test taker. I'm really good at math and science, but I'm shit at history. I took college prep English classes all throughout high school. Um, very good writer, very strong at that. Good at history, horrible at math, horrible at science. I got a perfect score on the ACT in reading um, and did pretty well in science, but I did horrific in math. I do like logic puzzles. I used to do them when I was a kid and I do like to do the Sunday crossword puzzle. I imagine to be a part of the Secret Service, you have to be incredibly smart. I don't think they put the life of the president in just anybody's hands. The scary part is that they like know a lot more information than we know, and they're always watching. I feel like this test is gonna be really hard. This practice test section contains six passages, each of which describe a set of facts. Each passage is followed by three test questions that are conclusions based on the set of facts presented in the passage. You will read the passage and then decide whether each conclusion is true, false, or if there is insufficient information to decide. This section contains 18 questions and you will have 30 minutes to complete it. Melinda is a Secret Service Special Agent. Susan has never been to Georgia. All Secret Service Special Agents have been to Georgia. Fred works with Susan. Susan is a Secret Service Special Agent. Susan is a Secret Service Special Agent is false because it says Susan has never been to Georgia and all Secret Service Special Agents have been to Georgia. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's totally, yeah. Fred works for the Secret Service. If Fred works with Susan, we know that Susan doesn't work for the Secret Service, so then Fred wouldn't be able to work for the Secret Service, regardless of whether or not he's been to Georgia. So he does not work, for, it's false. Insufficient information to decide, because I don't know if people in the Secret Service work with people who aren't in the Secret Service. Ah. <laughs> Passage three. All task force agents work from either Boston or Chicago. Some Boston task force agents are financial fraud investigators. All Chicago task force agents are financial fraud investigators. All Boston task force agents who are financial fraud investigators receive financial investigation training. No Chicago task force agents receive financial investigation training. All Chicago task force agents receive cybersecurity training. No task force agents who received cybersecurity training are financial fraud investigators. All these broad statements. Some. All. That's the None. point. Fuck that. Be direct. That's what life is about. No one in Chicago is a financial fraud investigator. But we know that all Chicago task force agents are financial fraud. So I'm going to say false. Insufficient information to decide. I'm just going to go with it. All Chicago task force agents are financial fraud investigators, and all Chicago task force agents receive cybersecurity training. Therefore, there are financial fraud investigators who receive cybersecurity training, therefore making the statement false. Yeah. Statement two, no task force agents who received financial investigation training work from Chicago. The people in Boston get the financial investigation training and the people in Chicago get the cybersecurity training. So it makes it true. No one from Chicago receives financial investigation training. So it is true. I concur. <laughs> no Chicago task force agents receive financial investigation training. I started to get nervous, like what if they moved? I wanted a perfect score, but I overthought it and uh, died on the last one, so. I don't feel bad that I did bad because I mean, maybe that means I should like, you know, tap into that side of my brain more. Maybe like this is like room for improvement. I mean, it's some bullshit, but it's room for improvement. I just feel like with these kind of tests, you constantly like second guess yourself and you don't really know. So it might be a test of like, how much are you confident with your like gut instinct? And I think a couple times it showed that I wasn't. It's not that hard to figure out the answers. And I got a 94%, which is an A, so I'm like, 
you know, I'm pretty happy. They should do this test while on the range and there's like <laughs> targets popping up. False. <laughs> True. <laughs>